When I think about a future that is completely connected, uh, I try to think about these tens and hundred times more of devices that will be connected compared to today due to the lower price of, of, of connectivity and, and the increased flexibility with, with new technologies coming along. And uh, it will be extremely interesting to see how people will handle all the possibilities when devices that are not possible to connect today will be connected. And that's really something that we cannot completely foresee today, but will be extremely interesting to follow. So the embedded UICC and the remote SIM provisioning is not what's driving this uh, vision of a very connected world, but it's a really, really important building block to achieve the, the flexibility necessary to actually have all of these devices connected. So it's something we really need to get in place to achieve our vision. So to make remote SIM provisioning successful, it's quite obvious that a certain element of standardization is necessary. We need to have at least a couple of models that, uh, that people can, can follow. Um, on the other hand, I don't believe that there will be one single model to rule them all. I think there will be a couple of different models depending on the circumstances, the class of devices and so on. To the device manufacturer, it's quite an obvious advantage to get rid of the physical SIM tray. So we can make slimmer, smaller devices that are waterproof and have a really nice industrial design. On top of that, it will be interesting to see if we can also make some innovations on the business model side by having combinations of services and devices in a, in a different way than is common today. There are, of course, also benefits to the end user of introducing the embedded UICC. It will make it possible for the end user to get their subscriptions in a really easy and seamless way. It will also enable them to use their services on a multitude of different connected devices that they will have in their lives. I would really love for my bicycle to be connected. It has happened too many times that I put it somewhere and then forget where I actually put it. And it has happened one too many times that it has gotten stolen. So being connected and also having a GPS tracker in my bicycle would be really valuable.